In this video, I'll show you how to fix uh, your controller if it's not pairing with your Quest 3S or if it's pairing but sometimes disconnecting. Now, there's many solutions to this problem since we don't know why it's happening and I'll show you many of these. So let's start with the easiest of them. The easiest is to simply open the battery compartment of the controller that is not working, remove the battery, wait two seconds, put it back and see if this fixes your issue. I know it seems obvious, but before going to anything more complicated, try this. Many people on Reddit had success just by doing that. Now, the next thing we can do is to disconnect the controller from the headset and reconnect them together. And for this, we need the app. So make sure to turn on your Quest 3S. Make sure there's something going on on the screen. Let me just see. Take your Meta Horizon app, open it. And if your um, headset is connected, you're gonna see it on the top left corner here. Click on it, then go down and you should see headset settings, tap on it. If it's grayed out, it simply means that it's not connecting to your headset. Simply close down the app completely, reboot it, make sure there is something going on, on um, when you look through the lenses and hopefully this um, will fix the issue. Well, let's go in headset settings, controllers. If you have trouble, let's say with the left side controller, simply go over here, left controller, tap on it and then select on pair controller and on pair. It will delete it. Next, we need to pair it again. So press pair new controller, select left if it was the left one. They'll ask you to press this button over here plus the Y button at the same time until the controller vibrates. Okay, it vibrated, I can release these buttons. And just like that, let's wait. Here we go, left controller paired, press continue, done, and this is it. Hopefully this fixed your issue. If you're still having problems connecting your controller to your Quest 3S, another thing we can check if we open the battery compartment of the controller is that the battery is staying tightly connected to the mi uh, minus, I mean negative and positive terminal over here. If you find that your battery is jiggling, it's not stable, it's moving around, well, there's a chance that it's not making contact. And some people suggested you put a piece of paper over here. Let me just do it to demonstrate. So just take a regular piece of paper. You can also take a paper towel or toilet paper, fold it multiple times, okay, like that. And simply try to put it on the side. This way the battery will not move around and it will stay stable and then put back this cover okay and now the battery should stop jiggling inside now obviously you can fold this paper more in case it's not tight enough another thing that you can do is to remove the battery and to check for any signs of corrosion sometimes batteries especially if you leave them inside for a, a long period of time, or if they are cheap batteries, they will leak. And you're gonna see, you're gonna definitely see that they leaked and you'll need to clean the contacts if you want the controller to work again. Simply take some rubbing alcohol, a Q-tip, and go ahead and start cleaning if it has leaked. I always suggest if you plan to not use your headset for many weeks at the time, to simply remove the batteries from the controllers. You're gonna save yourself a lot of trouble and maybe the surprise of finding out that your battery has leaked over time. Another thing that you can try is to replace the battery with a brand new one. Even if on the headset or on the app you see that you have 5%, 15% left in that battery, just replace it with a brand new one. Sometimes if it says 15, 10 or five, it's not that accurate and the battery is actually dead 
or almost dead and it's not able to send any signal so, and your controller is not able to work with a such a low battery so replace the battery finally many people by searching on reddit had success by factory resetting the headset itself uh, this should be the last option obviously it's the one that uh, will take the most time since after factory resetting you'll need to reinstall your games that you have downloaded and you know everything but some people said that it helps so let me show you how to reset your quest 3s in case nothing worked and you're getting pretty frustrated at this point i suppose one way is to use the headset itself without anything else and the other way is by using your phone that is connected to your device i'll show you how to do it on the headset first and then we'll jump to the second option so for the first option you need to make sure that your quest 3s is completely turned off so simply wear the headset push the power button over here just one second until you get a screen and select turn off shut down all right i just did it now wait around 10 seconds just to make sure that the unit is completely turned off and then what we need to do now is to press the power button at the same time has this volume down button you see it has a small minus on it both okay both until you see a menu appearing on the headset so you need to wear it when you do this so let me do it so once you get that special menu to navigate through it you're going to use volume up and volume down to go up and down and to select you're going to use the power button to select the option factory reset should be the option number three you're going to see it again plus and minus button until it's selected in blue and then press once on the power button then you'll have to confirm select the first option which should be yes again using the plus button here and then press once on the power button to select it and usually it takes a few seconds and the unit will be factory reset it so this is one way of doing it now let me show you how to do it using your phone because i think it could be a bit more easy so for this to work first of all make sure your headset is turned on then go on the meta horizon app let me go on the main menu so you see what to do so over here this is the main menu you're going to press this button over here lower right side from here you're going to select devices should be this option again if your device is connected and turned on you're going to see a green dot press on it and from here you need to select headset settings if headset settings is grayed out and you cannot select it like in my case although it's connected okay what you need to do is to simply quit the app open again the app okay whatever we can go to the same place by the way just clicking this small icon of the headset on the top left corner make sure the headset is turned on i'll just put it on my face a second here all right it's turned on so if you click here you're gonna get to the same menu go down and here headset settings is not grayed out i can select it now you just have to select advanced setting and factory reset to confirm click the reset button over there and you'll be good to go so these are the two ways on how you can do this same job. I hope this was useful. Please leave a comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.